All right, the next president that we're going to look at is James Madison. He was president from 1809 to 1817. He served two terms, and then he went on with his life afterwards. Um, he was born in Virginia on March 16, 1751. He became a lawyer, and he was married to Dorothy or Dolly Todd in 1794. Um, yeah, Dolly Madison is one of the one of the more famous women in our nation's history, and we'll see why in just a little while. His pr political career was also quite. Um, was quite impressive. He served in the Constitutional Convention and he's known as the father of the Constitution because he wrote most of it, a great majority of it. He wrote many of the Federalist essays and under Jefferson he served as Secretary of State and he died in 1836. During Madison's presidency the United States uh, became entangled in a war with Great Britain known as the War of 1812. Um, and it started because many members of Congress wanted to, they just wanted to go to war with Britain. There were enough problems that had been boiling for years, and they decided it's time to just fight England again. We beat them before, and we will beat them again. These men were known as the War Hawks. And so Congress declared war on Britain in 1812. And even though they declared war, they really were not ready for war. There were less than 7,000 soldiers in the army. They had a very small navy. Uh, they had very little combat experience, and people were not in not all people were in support of the war. So immediately the British blockaded the American coast, and that prevented the Americans from selling goods uh, or buying goods from outside. The British army invaded the uh, United States. They got so far as to burn Washington, D.C. Um, and, uh, you know, major points of the war, basically the uh, British attack on Fort McHenry, the burning of Washington, D.C., the writing of the Star-Spangled Banner by Francis Scott Key, and um, then we like to talk about how the USS Constitution was this ship, a great American ship that defeated so many British ships. Um, so, basically, the War of 1812 has been nicknamed the Second American Revolution because... By the end of the war, 1814, after the war became a standoff, um, the British gave up. They gave up this long distance war, and agreed to remove American fort or remove British forts from America, and also to uh, basically leave leave Americans alone. Okay. Um, so results of the War of 1812. When the war ended in 1815, Europeans saw that, whoa, the United States is a force to be reckoned with. It was stronger than ever. It was stronger than the uh, Europeans thought it was. So the war created a greater sense of nationalism in the United States. Nationalism is the love for one's country. And uh, because we start, the Americans were winning wars and fighting these great powers, people started to be proud of their country. Also, the U.S. economy grew and expanded. Americans were more prosperous. Manufacturing increased. Trade increased. The seas were safer. It was just safer to do business, and people made a lot more money than they were in the past. And then the, also the Republican Party increased its power in the government. And by this point, the, feder the Federalists were kind of just falling apart. They were wasting away and becoming a party that really didn't matter much anymore.